So you typically think of your 11 times table as one of the easier ones to remember. 2 times 11 is 22, 3 times 11 is 33, 4 times 11 is 44, etc, etc, etc. But what happens if you have a much bigger number multiplied by 11? What can we do then to make things easy for ourselves? Let's take a look at an example. Let's try uh, 35, for instance, multiplied by 11. What we do is we assume that this is going to go from a two digit number into a three digit number. One, two, three digits there. We're going to move the first number into the first position and the last number into the last position, that's the five. And then for the middle position, all we have to do is add them together. Three add five gives us eight. Therefore, 35 multiplied by 11 is 385. Easy, right? Let's try another one, one that you already know to prove that it works. Uh, you know 11 multiplied by 11, I'd assume. That's gonna be a three digit number. So we put the one in the first position, the other one in the last position, add them together gives us two. That goes in the middle and absolutely right, 11 times 11, 121. Now you might be thinking that's all well and good, but what happens when the numbers add up to something greater than 10? Well, let's look at an example like that now. Let's do 48 multiplied by 11. In exactly the same way, we can move the four into the first position, the eight into the last position, and we add them together to get 12. 12 is gonna go in the middle, but that doesn't quite work. That's not a three digit number. What we do there is we keep the two and we carry the extra 10 over. So that's going to become eight, two, carry the one, that becomes a five. So 48 times 11 is 528. Now the final stage in this is to work out what happens if you're multiplying 11 by a number with more than two digits. For example, let's say we're doing 263 multiplied by 11. Now in exactly the same way, we assume that it's going to increase by a digit, so it's gonna be a four digit number, and we put the two at the beginning of that, so it's gonna be uh, two something something, and then a three at the end. Now, instead of adding the last and first numbers together, we simply add the pairs of numbers together to fill those two remaining spaces. The six and the three add together to give us nine, and the two and the six add together to give us eight. So it will be 2,893. If they were uh, giving us numbers that had uh, an answer greater than 10, for example, do an example, let's say we had uh, 280, Five. That's definitely going to be greater than 10 multiplied by 11. In exactly the same way, we'll put the 2 at the beginning, we'll put the 5 at the end. And now we're doing 8 add 5, that gives us 13. And 2 add 8, that gives us 10. So now we have to carry the 10s like we did before. So we have the 5 stays as it is. The 13 becomes 3, carry the 10, gives us 11. That's going to be one in there, carry again. That's gonna give us three. It'll be 3,135. 285 multiplied by 11, 3,135. Now that is a quick and easy way to do your 11 times table for any number.